This is EY stream. He thinks he looks pretty cool. But Pro Gamer 27 doesn't think so. <gasps> Please make him feel better and follow his Instagram and Twitter. Go, go do it now. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can take your chess game to the next level! Wow! It is gonna be absolutely insane, guys. I'm gonna be showing you the brand new way to store water, to store lava, to store milk, and even XP. That is right, guys. No more chucking millions of buckets inside of chests and them taking up tons of space, wasting all your iron. I'm going to be showing you the real way to store your liquids and, guys, how you can even store XP. That's right. No more dying and losing all that XP. And on top of that, guys, it's time to get the chest off the ground. It's time to be able to give you more flexibility. It is time to finally have a chest you can take wherever you go and not have to worry about losing all your items every time you break the chest and it goes everywhere and it's just a nightmare. I'm going to be showing you how you can get that chest on your back. Basically, it's a backpack. I'm going to show you guys how you can get a backpack in Minecraft and get that extra storage wherever you are going, guys. It is going to be insane. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to be showing you how you can finally upgrade the boring old chest and become a pro at storing your items. So if you are looking forward to today's video, you guys should probably go down below. Drop a like right now. We're going for 3,000 likes. Can we do it? Can we not? I don't know. You guys, you got to prove to me that we can do it, guys. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and go down below and slap that subscribe button. Mr. Villager, are you new to the channel? Okay, he's, he's walking away from me. He does not want to talk. I'm going to take that as, yes, he's very new to the channel, guys. And he's going to slap that subscribe button. Oh, look, he's coming back. Yeah, see? The minute he had subscribe button, he just, he just had to come back to me. And, and okay, he's, I, um, I, okay. I don't even, okay, now he's walking into the wall of the, of the house. Okay, maybe Villager has no idea what he's doing. But anyway, guys, if you want to be awesome as well, make sure to hit that bell icon to ding, 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 right next to that subscribe button. So that way you get the coolest features like your upgraded chest right here, right now. Make sure to hit that bell, guys, if you want to be absolute legends but without further ado it's time to get into today's video it's time to put the chest to rest see what i did there with the little rhyme oh i'm so proud of myself it is time to finally get something better than the chest and upgrade your chest game so there's a very special person we need to find guys a very special person is he in here no he's not there's a very special villager who has finally granted us i, I don't know where he's gone but you know oh oh he hello mr villager this is you look at this smart man look at look at his face Can, look at me look at me mr villager Look at, look at his face, guys. Look at the wisdom pouring out of his eyes. Oh, he's so smart. Mr. Villager, are you willing to show us what you have invented? Huh? Okay. Huh? Huh? I'm going to take that as a no. He does not want to show us what he's invented. But this smart man here is very genius. He's a genius. You just can't see it right now, guys. But this guy's a genius because he has solved all our chess problems forever. And have a look at this, guys. This is where he's kept them, guys. Right in this, you know, he's kept them in a normal chest. Because he doesn't want people to find out his secrets, but have a look at this, guys. Check this out. We've got a ton of brand new ways to store items. Of course, you have the regular chest, but now you have the water tank, the lava tank, a backpack, guys, to chuck that chest on your back. We have a milk storage, XP storage, and the table saw. Goodbye, chest. It's been nice knowing you, but it is time to store items like a pro, guys. Are you ready to see the epicness that is these brand new stored items? These brand new versions of the chest, guys, that are essentially chest upgrades. They're pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, we have the regular chest. You guys know how this works. You know the jam here. This thing sucks because when you try and store water, guys, it, it doesn't work. Look, look okay, I'm, I'm going to explain why what I have against. In case you haven't realized, guys, I have a serious problem against storing water in chests because look at this. You store water. You cannot stack it. It fills up chests that easily. And on top of that, all your buckets are stuck there, guys. You don't get that iron back. You wasted all this iron on all these buckets. I mean, seriously, what, is, what does this game think we're made of? Iron? Like, I don't know about you, but iron is not growing on these trees. Nah, 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 nah. But guys, it's time to say an end to that. Say goodbye to this pain of storing water buckets in chests with the water tank. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look futuristic? Ooh, very fancy, very... F this thing is the way that people are going to be storing items in the future, guys. This is the future of Minecraft. This is what the pros are using. I am telling you. And of course, guys, make sure to stick around to the end of today's video so I can show you how you can get these in your own world because at the moment, we've kind of just stole them from the village over there. But I will show you how you can get these in your very own world at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around. But anyway, check this out, guys. This is why this is overpowered. Check this out. Right? You, you're about to have your mind blown. Ready? And bang! Look at that! You can store water inside this tank. And you know why it's crazy? You know why it's crazy? Because look at this, I got my bucket back. 
And what's crazy about that is you only really need to craft one bucket and then you can go ahead and grab some more water and then come straight back over here. And I'm in creative, so it kind of just kept my, my empty bucket. We'll pretend that didn't happen, but you take a look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. And you can store a ridiculous amount of water in here. This is, look at that. That's crazy. And uh, like, it's nice. It's sleek. It only comes in one block. So it's not taking up a ton of space, which is great. And you're getting these buckets back to use them for other purposes. And you may be thinking, Ewestrin, this is cool and all, but how do I get the water back? Well, guys, it's as simple as clicking your water tank with a bucket. And boom. Check that out, guys. And bang. And blame. And shazam. And quam. Check that out. You get your water straight back here. It is the superior way to store water. I'm sure you guys can agree there. It's great. It's amazing. And uh, honestly, this is this is brilliant. No more having to stack water buckets inside chests. But guys, you know, you may be thinking, EY Stream, that's great and all, but you see, what about lava buckets? Can you store lava buckets? Well, guys, I have a solution to you. I have your answer. I am coming to save you. Well, at least the villager who created these items is coming to save you because have a look at this. We have the brand new lava tank. Now, this guy has a fresh coat of black right around. It looks super sleek, super fancy. This is what the pros use. This is what the real men use. So, so basically any guy except me because, look, um, yeah, no muscles here. But anyway, guys, that doesn't matter. It's not going to stop me from using this bad boy because boy, not only does it look great with that black seal, it's like where all the lava's kept. It's super rough and super sleek. I love it. But now there is no more stacking lava either, guys. You know, you may have been sick of water, but lava is honestly the worst thing because here's the thing. Let's say you go in a big mine, you come up top and you didn't get enough lava. Well, you have to store it like this. And this is a pain, guys. Now, you may be thinking, if you don't know why you would ever want to store lava, the reason being is because, well, furnaces literally is the best way to furnace items, in my opinion, if I can spell furnace. There we go. The best way to furnace items, in my opinion anyway, is with lava buckets. So if we grab some uh, gold ore, let's do that right there, because, you know, we're rich. We got that bling, bling, bling. <laughs> Not really. I don't know what I'm saying right now. But gold ore, it's much more efficient to use lava over coal, as you guys can see. Bang. And that's going to furnace up to 100 blocks with just one lava bucket. Problem is, it's hard to store. It's generally deep underground, and it can be an absolute pain to waste all your iron making tons of buckets. But of course, guys, you already know how this works now. You come up to your lava storage tank, and bang, and bang, and boom, 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 boom. Check that out, guys. You've got your very own uh, lava storage tank. And what's even greater about these is you can have... Cat, cat, stay away. Lava's not safe. Stay away. I'm sorry, cat, but you should not come anywhere near this lava. This is a very dangerous place. Ah, okay, cool. He's safe. And as you guys can see, you can chuck as many of these down as you need, which means you get an infinite amount of lava storage. And of course, it's just as easy as the water storage. Come up with a bucket and bang, you get your lava back. It's brilliant. There is not a better way to store liquids in this game besides these tanks, guys. These are far superior to the ordinary chest. Now, now that we've had a look at these tanks, guys, there's another thing that honestly, chests really annoy me because look at this. Look, ready? Ready? When you try and pick it up, this, this happens. And all your items go everywhere. It's a pain, guys. And it can be an absolute pain if your inventory is full. You want to go mining or you want to go on a big exploration and you need that extra storage. So lucky for you guys, we now have the backpack. And of course, guys, this works exactly how you would imagine. You can chuck this baby on your back and you can get that extra storage space. So what you want to do is chuck one of these bad boys down. Have a look at this beauty. We have got our backpack. Now to get this on your back, guys, because that is, of course, the most important thing. It's this easy. Grab an emerald, come right up to it, touch it with an emerald, and voila, check this out, guys. You have now claimed this as your backpack, and the reason for this is that way your friends can't steal your backpacks, and so now none of my friends will be able to open this backpack except me. As you guys can see, we're getting this extra storage space. This is great if you need that extra storage, or let's say you're going on a super dangerous journey and you might lose some, you, you need to like bring some extra food or something, or an extra pickaxe. This is going to give you and like kind of an emergency supply bag. And I think that is overpowered, guys. And you may be thinking, all right, this is cool and all you can store items. But right now, it's just kind of like a small chest. I, I need it on my back, right? Check this out, guys. All you have to do is walk right up to it. And bag, check this out, guys. The backpack just decided to hop right on my back. No need to click it. Nothing, guys. It's that easy. Super, super simple. You can just chuck this a bad boy on your back. Go exploring. Go investigate wherever you need to go, guys. And now you're going to have that extra storage right on your back. No problem. Super easy. Awesome, guys. This is literally the emergency sack right there. And you may saw of me just kind of like chuck it off right there. All you got to do to take it off. So you walk onto it to grab it. And then to get it off your back, you can go ahead and crouch just like that. And then it's going to jump right off your back. It's kind of like the backpack is like your pet. 
Uh, honestly, that that it kind of reminds me of the backpack in Dora the Explorer. I know that sounds really weird. Yes, I did watch Dora the Explorer. I'm going to admit that. But uh, okay, who's in the, who's watched Dora the Explorer? Let me know in the comments down below. You guys are my favorites. All right, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying that. I'm just putting that out there. And you know, it's great. It's great and all. But right now, it's kind of a bit boring. Chits are boring because they're one color, and backpacks are boring because they are one color. Or are they? Because check this out, guys. You can dye them any color you want. You're feeling like a blue backpack? Uh-huh. We got a blue backpack. Kablam! Blue backpack right there for you. You're feeling like some pink action? Well, guess what? I got you covered, boy. Check this out. Ready? And bang. Pink backpack, guys. You can go ahead and chuck these and get as many colors as you want. It doesn't matter what what's your style. These are going to suit you and you can get these to match your skin. I can't exactly say that pink is... The perfect match for my skin. But regardless, guys, you can get whatever color backpack you like, which just makes it so much more customizable and unique and personal than, you know, this boring old yellow chest, guys. It's it's just better in every way. What can I say? It's it's it's, it's genius. Why, Mojang? Come on, get onto this. We need this in the game. This is so much better than anything that's come past. All right, guys. So there is our backpack. Moving on to our next few storage items. We have the uh, XP storage and the milk storage. Now, these can imagine... Yeah, I'm sure you guys can figure out exactly how these work. They look work very similar to our tanks over here. However, they have a few unique features. First off, the XP storage. This is special because at the moment, there is no way to store XP. Literally none. The problem is, is, well, you know, let's say you have 50 XP, right? But you're going to the end. You think you're going to die. You want to store your XP because here's the thing. If you die, you lose all that XP. Well, you have to gain a ton more XP to get it all back in order to enchant your weapons again and head back to the end. But if you can go ahead, get a ton of XP, and then store it in here, if you die at the end, when you respawn, you can just get your XP straight back, and you can get right on that enchanting game, guys. Which is great. I think it's awesome, and this is a genius idea that allows you to store XP. So if you go, again, what we'll use, for example, because I'm in creative and I obviously don't have any XP, but if we have Bottle of Enchanting, we can go ahead, come right up to here, and check that out, guys. You can go ahead and store your XP right inside that tank. And you may be thinking, all right, Western, this is cool and all, but what if I want that XP back? Let's say you've just died. And luckily, you stored your XP away as like, even as an emergency supply, guys, this is great. You could like build up a little bit of an emergency supply in case you do die and you need to re-enchant stuff. It's super simple. Come up with an empty bottle. Go ahead and you guys can check this out. Ready? Bang. You go ahead. Bang, bang, bang. And that's going to give you bottle of enchanting, which then you can go ahead and use and be like, I've got XP, 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 XP. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I've got infinite amount of XP because I'm in creative, so it doesn't really matter. But in survival, this is key, guys. This is going to be an absolute game changer. And, you know, then you can just go around and splash XP bottles, you know, straight after you died and be like, yep, didn't die. I didn't die at all. <laughs> to totally didn't die to the uh, to that zombie down the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I died to the zombie down the road. But anyway, guys, that's enough of me. Moving on to our next one, the milk storage. This works very similarly to our XP storage. I think this thing would just look great in, like, a kitchen anyway. Like, this looks like a, like a blender or something. I think it looks cool. But um, once again, guys, this is going to put an end to you having to store using milk buckets. Because just like water and lava buckets, absolute pain to store in chests. And honestly, you generally don't want to waste your iron on building buckets for milk. So this way, you can go ahead and chuck... Ooh, that is a weird sound. Listen to this. It sounds like I'm flushing the toilet. Oh, okay. I don't like the sound. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Stay away. Stay away. Those are all our different storage items. You may be thinking, but EY Stream, there was one more item in the chest. And yes, you are right. The table saw. Now, this isn't exactly a storage item, but it is an item that is literally game-changing and saves you a whole ton of time. This is the table saw. Firstly, it has an awesome animation right there, guys. But on top of this, it's going to allow you to craft things like stairs, planks, uh, pressure plates and trapdoors just so much easier. So if we go ahead and get just a single plank, guys, this actually makes sense. This makes tons of sense. If you saw a bit out of your plank, it's going to give you a single stair. If you saw a bit of your stair, it's going to give you a slab. If you saw a bit of your slab, it's going to give you a trapdoor. And if you saw the trapdoor down, it's going to give you a pressure plate. And this is so much quicker to make things like stairs, guys, to make things like slabs. And it uses a lot less resources. So it just makes sense. It would be exactly how you would do it in real life. And it's much easier. So if I switch into survival here real quick, guys. A game mode S. You guys can see, look at this. Look at how quickly I can make stairs. This is so much easier than using a crafting table and using a ton of resources to craft it. And let's say you had a ton of stairs sitting around and you wanted to make slabs. You accidentally made too many stairs. All you can do is go ahead and saw them down. And that's going to give you your slabs back. So this just allows you to like really streamline the way you make wooden items. And it's so much easier than the regular crafting recipes. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope you've enjoyed learning how you can upgrade your chest game to the next level. Of course, I need to show you how, guys, how you can get this. So let me do that very quickly. What you got to do is go ahead and leave your world just like that, guys. 
jump out with this little edit icon on the right, guys. You can see my world is called subscribe, please. So please go subscribe. I would appreciate that, guys, very much. You want to come down to resource packs, and you want to make sure that your storage and functional backpack packs are in the active pack section. What you can do by that, guys, is if you go ahead and we'll just take this off for a second, you can go ahead, click on it, and then click the plus, and then it'll top up here in the active packs button. If you don't see these anywhere in your world, you can download them using the link in the description below, and you'll be able to get these. And then the behavior packs, you got to have make sure they are in the active behavior packs as well. And again, if you don't see them, download the link in the description below, guys. But if we open up our world, I'll close up to today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, honestly, these backpacks themselves are just overpowered. Like this ability to hold, to hold items on your back is overpowered. So guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, see you guys soon. Bye.